Hi everyone from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. I'm looking at the Outcasts Hideout Player Home today by Red Rocket TV. First thing you're going to need to do once you've downloaded it is find, discover this place, the Outcast Cave. It's right near Gorski Cabin. It's a good old fashioned dungeon, lots of fun, plenty of things to kill, 102,050 billion things to unlock. I'm not even joking. Bring lockpicks if you, you know, obsessive about opening everything up and once you've done the dungeon you'll pick up an id card reader and a password that will get you into this place so this is where you come and go from um you can fast travel straight into this by the way so let me show you the home it is very fab and groovy and it is based on a bunker from fallout new vegas uh, and actually uh, well for a mod for that actually it was giving me the feels i was feeling really bad about not having logged into new vegas for so long i'm kind of missing it you know and yet at the same time i'm obsessed with fallout 4 right now so there's a circuit breaker here and that's how you get in as you can see the passwords required you will pick that up in the dungeon and then you come into this massive place it's actually really big um, it's got all the usual features that Red Rocket TV puts into his home. So you can sort your inventory here at this chest, uh, or you can do it by terminal. Um, wow, I mean, this is the laboratory type of area, I guess. Three sets of armor stations, plenty of storage for everything, even big weapons. And here, so very cool. I love all his little features. There's a fusion core charger too, power armor parts, shelves. <laughs> it is really detailed. There's also a great backstory with this as you'll learn as you do the dungeon. Uh, and then you can find out even more once you actually get here. He's sitting on an invisible chair. <laughs> I don't even know. There's name storage everywhere, so you'll have no trouble finding anything. And then this is the um, medical area, I guess you'd call it. So there's a chemistry station, loads of storage, change your appearance, auto dock, purify your water there. There's these little speakers on the walls throughout, so you can activate the music system if you want it. And here's your lab terminal. So at this one, uh, you can find out more of the backstory, or you can use this to sort your inventory instead of using the chest at the beginning there. Whatever suits you, really. As you can see, there are loads of rooms coming off of this place. I'll try and do it in order so I don't miss anything, but don't shout at me if I do. Uh, download it and check it out. So this is just eye candy really uh apparently it was only put in there just to mimic the bunker that he was using as his inspiration so carrying on round there are bits and pieces that you can pick up all over the place this security room is really interesting because in here there are two main features this commissary terminal so you can buy and sell from here which is awesome that is so handy love storage again all of these desk lamps by the way you can turn on or off there are loads of them throughout the home and the other main feature is this one the mainframe terminal so there's a number of things you can do here this one's the most interesting house upgrades well to me i don't have the right things in my inventory but look you can add Magazine racks, bobblehead display, Nuka-Cola, and Nuka-Cola recipe book display shelf, robot model kit, and exterior defenses that will turn up within 24 hours. That's four turrets. How cool is that? Oh, by the way, you can also adopt a cat. I already have. She's in here somewhere. She's called Moira. You can change the banner in the quarters. I chose Minutemen, but you can have oh, all sorts of different uh, kinds. Uh, and you can decide whether you want the lighting permanently on or off from here rather than you know going around and turning off uh, all the light switches 
so this is super cool and these are the lights which is his normal looking ones that i've seen in his other homes i'm loving that i'm seeing house industries in here all the little nods it makes me very happy so in the equipment room check this out loads of storage for weapons that's what all these are on the walls big ones too ammos armors not quite as freaky as skyrim mannequins are they but <laughs> you know still not brilliant there's a terminal here too so again you can stockpile your inventory and sort out your settings oh i love that there's a copy of dean Ele dean's electronics there you're hearing noises in the background inigo has just jumped up on my desk and is sitting on my left hand which i'm using on my keyboard so um yeah <laughs> thanks for that inigo all right quarters oh yeah buy a drink at the nuka cola machine so there's a little hydroponics lab here very nice and some fertilizer wow oh my god the atomic wranglers i'm getting such feels from this mold actually um, so there's my terminal again there's a little safe more things you can turn on and off a bed for your companion or two and also your bed which is very nice actually looks uh, a little bit posher oh and there's my dog meets bed you can actually ch i won't change it but you can change that into a couch if you want instead hey your bed's all right isn't it I think this mod is so well done it's been really beautifully put together and the fact that it gives you a whole story and a dungeon that is just awesome oh i just heard moira so the dungeon is actually through there and if you do want to go in there again you can just use your id card reader i did think that i might actually show my gameplay going through there but i am so slow and cautious i'm sure it'd be really boring for everyone to watch and i also do scream a little bit sometimes when things pop out of nowhere so mm, you know i decided against it so here's your kitchen mixer station how nice and there's under shelf lighting food storage there's even a little timer for your cooking on your cooker that is awesome there's your cat dishes that appear when you adopt a cat and as before with his other homes if you don't want to keep moira for any reason then you can put her up for adoption there she is oh my god she looks like fergus inigo's brother <laughs> my real life cats adorable okay and a bathroom again music system and a shower you get a little boost from using the shower by the way it doesn't auto strip you so two to char charisma for eight hours that's okay isn't it and your washing and dryer cool it's really a chemistry station there it really does feel like a boy's place <laughs> don't come for me for saying that but it feels exactly what it is. I think he's done an amazing job of capturing the, the whole feeling with the quest. It's brilliant. What a good job. Look at this random stuff. You never know what you might need, eh? All right. Well, I think that covers just about all of the main features. It is a terrific mod. I don't know what my favourite part is. I'm definitely keeping it. And I will uh, magically enhance my inventory with what i need for the upgrades i'll leave you with the view of this room and call that the end of this wee video thanks so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it do let me know what you think about it down in the comments and i will see you soon for the next one take care and stay safe everyone